Hi there, this is Joseph from Joe Concert. How are you doing today? Today's video is just going to be a quick tip video and in this quick tip video we're going to be talking about how to scale up or down your animation or keyframes in your timeline. Now sometimes you would have uh, an animated object or scene with a whole lot of keyframes and later on you, you realize that either the animation was fast or too slow and you feel you want to like change the animation how can you do that now if you have those if you have so many objects in the scene that you've animated it's going to be a ton of it's going to be a problem for you to start changing these animations and the the keyframes rather in the timeline but there is a very quick way to scale up or down your keyframes in the animation timeline and keeping the proportion that you have used when you started the animation or when you started keyframing those things so that is what we're going to have so let's get into the software and see how we'll go about that all right so here we're in the software if you look at what i have i just have my sphere and the former added to it squash and stretch and nothing really interesting nothing more than that so, and if you look at this animation you just have it going up and coming down and bouncing that is just what i have and if you look at this now i i have this animation scaled up the timing for my animation is in 40 frames so if i feel that this animation is too slow and i want to increase the speed of this animation how can i do that there is a way we can go about that so the first thing you're going to do is if you have so many objects that you've animated if you look, look at this squash and stretch i animated that if you select this i also animated this so you would want to select all the objects you have animated in your scene that you have added keyframes for that is the first thing you need to do you need to first select all the objects in your scene then once you're done selecting it the next thing is for you to highlight these all keyframes so for you to highlight this keyframe there is a very simple way doing this so i'll first increase this so that it will be easy for me to highlight so i'll just increase this to something like 50 just to start with scale up this so that i can come to this click and drag once i click and drag then i have all these keyframes animated so the next thing i'm going to do is i need to now go to how long i want the animation to go so i i, I had 40 frames but i want to reduce this animation to let's say 35 frames or let's say 32 or 30 frames any just it depends on whatever you want so let's say we want it to be 33 frames don't forget to still have all of them selected then just right click on any of the keyframes then go to edit fill as soon as you do this is it scales down this animation and if you play this animation now you are going to see that it's going to the timing is going to be faster than that if you still want it to be faster than this the same way just increase this animation let's say 40 for instance just to allow me select the whole keyframe so I, it seems the whole keyframe is still selected since i did not click this so let's say i want this to be 28 frames I want to scale up or scale down this animation 28 frames. So just right click, edit, fill. It fills this 28 frames and you have that. Then if you play this, you're going to have this animation. Do you see that? So that is how you go about that. So if you feel this, uh, I just hope this was helpful and that's kind of helped you in solving some issues and all that so if you feel this was helpful please give me a thumbs up and share the video uh, you don't know who might need this video and also if you're new to my channel please just subscribe and i think that is pretty much it do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye